Hi, my name is George and I've been working on a Case 530CK tractor from 1965. Today I'm going to be showing you how I remove the packing and the seals and replace them on the hydraulic cylinder parts. So there are a few different names that people use for these parts over the years. We are going to be referring back to the diagram I'm showing here from the 60s and this is the nomenclature I'm going to be using when explaining these parts. This is a gland, it screws into the hydraulic cylinder tube. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a pick of some sort and you can pick out the wiper seal that is at the top. Behind that wiper seal is an o-ring, remove that next. The main seal or packing on this gland were very old as well as the backup ring and so they ended up coming out in pieces. There is another wiper seal on the bottom of the gland as well as an o-ring behind it. On the exterior of the gland there is another o-ring as well as a backup ring. Once all of that has been removed from the gland, I move on to the piston and start removing the packing there. It's pretty simple. After cleaning both the gland and the piston with some kerosene, it's time to install the new seals. I got these seals from hwpartstore.com. I am not sponsored by them. They make it easy to find your specific tractor, make and model, and then all you have to do is look in your manual and find the specific cylinder number that you need and they have all the kits right there that you would need for it. You want to make sure that these seals are going in wet so I just keep a small cup of hydraulic fluid right there on the table while I'm working. The first o-ring I'm installing goes right behind the wiper seal. I also install the o-ring going behind the wiper seal on the bottom. Next I install the backup ring which goes directly above the packing or the main seal. This feels like felt paper when you're installing it so just be careful because they're not very stout. The good thing is the HW Parts Store does send a few extras with it. Next is the main seal or packing that goes in the gland. Now this is a directional seal. And you can see how it goes in here. The chamfered side actually faces the piston while the flat side faces the top of the gland. The easiest way to install this seal is with one of these hydraulic seal tools. I got this off Amazon and it came in a pack of three all different sizes. I'll include an associates link below. This tool actually bends the main seal into place around that backup seal so you do not mess it up. Now you can install these seals without the use of this tool, but trust me, it is so much easier and it's definitely worth the cost if you're doing more than one of these hydraulic cylinders. Next up is the wiper seal. You want to make sure to install this with the thin part facing outward of the gland. These require a little finagling and there's a few ways you can do it. One is to actually snap the ring together and then try inserting it and bending it into place. Or you could just insert it, split, and then try to snap it into place inside the gland. There's also a wiper seal on the bottom, and again, this thin banding faces outward of the gland. Now I'm going to install the exterior O-ring as well as the exterior backup ring. The 
easiest way I found to install these is to just work your pick in between the gland and the ring and work it around consistently and then that way you're not stretching them out. Once you're done replacing the seals, you're going to want to keep this thing as clean as possible. So I wrap this up with paper towels. You could use a Ziploc bag, whatever you have around that's clean. Definitely keep the dirt off of this. Next, I'm going to be showing you the easiest part of this job. It's replacing the packing on the piston. Now you open up the bag and it is already pre-assembled. All you have to do is pull each one of these seals off one by one, coat them in hydraulic fluid and place them on top of the flange on the piston. Now these are chevron style seals and they snap into place one over the other. If you're working with hydraulic cylinders, be sure to click on this link to watch my next video showing you how I make a do-it-yourself hydraulic puller that helps you get your cylinders apart pretty easily. I hope you learned something and always check your smoke detectors because they do save lives.